welcome back to my kitchen. I did it again. This is actually You know what? Too. You can have it if you want to use it that I, badly. I don't. Uh, my... <sighs> <coughs> I've, been, I've been filming a lot with Tiffany in her apartment, and if you haven't seen her channel, she usually says along the lines of welcome back to the apartment, so I'm not in the apartment, I'm in my kitchen, so it was welcome back to my kitchen, which that's out my intro. I've forgotten what my intro is at this point. <laughs> but anyway, hello, everyone, everybody. Everybody. <laughs> this is meant to be about Narnia. And I have been sidetracked like at least three times now. So I have recently finished the books for the first time. I got all of these books for Christmas. Now I have not actually read the one about the movie, but you know what? It's fine. I still love it. So I'm surprised Tiffany actually gave it away. It needed to be with the other ones. I could just lend you the set. <laughs> yeah, but like it needs to stay with the other ones. I could buy you a set. I mean, in that case, then I would take it back. <laughs> I mean, the set wasn't that much money. Mm -hmm. uh, this was the republication in 2015. So uh, I don't know if the mild typos was actually there originally or if that was just because it is a reprint but I did notice at least two typos <laughs> in these books one I believe was in Don Treader and the other one was in The Last Battle the word I believe it was because had an extra e for some reason no that just means they want to hear it like because uh... maybe but that wasn't really the style. You know what? It doesn't matter. Maybe they just wanted to throw it in there for Maybe. hex and go There was, Craps there was a lot. Hex and, and Googles, that's what I was saying. Really. Maybe. Who knows? I'm not British. <laughs> Clearly. So, maybe it was just an exaggeration. Maybe I'm just an idiot. That's very well possible. No comment. Uh, Tiffany, for the record, is over here with the little someone. Hi! It's little Ivy. Who, <laughs> fun fact, was almost called Lucy, so kind of ties in. Technically, this was Anne. Which would have been Lucy. Technically. <laughs> it's a still, long story. Still kind of a reference because Anne could have been Anna, but your mom's name, so. Yeah, it, it's a it, long it, story. It, there was a lot going on. But if you don't know the order, they do tell you the order in this version, so. Ta da! It goes Magician's Nephew, which I read while waiting on my doctor. <laughs> Fun fact. That's when I started it. Most of these took less than a week to finish, though one did take me like three days, and I'll get to that in a minute. At Liar Witch in the Wardrobe, which I finished around Easter, literally right as he was dying on the stone table. I It was Easter morning, and I've read that, I'm like, Tiffany, he's dying now! He's dead. Oh, don't worry, he's alive now. I've been out on a wreck. I've, it's been an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> the horse and his boy. Yeah, there's a lot to be said about this one. I think quite a few people did. You're not like rating this one. them. I could rate them, but honestly, some of my questions is like, I don't know. <sighs> I can do a rate at the end after the questions. You're supposed to rate them as you tell them what order you went through them. I mean, That's I, what read I told them. you. Out of ten, five. Why are you five? Because fine. Uh, four. A classic. You gotta go with five. Horse it is boy three. Why? Maybe two. You'll get there. Ow. Caspian. Oh, four and a half? Eh. Don Treader, three and a half. Four ish. Silver Chair. That one was interesting. I 
Yeah, I knew most of the plot going into a good chunk of these ones. I, I, I wasn't, <laughs> I forgot about the, like, gnomes, <laughs> so that was fun. So, ripped Caspian, spoiler alert. <laughs> Still not a rating. Four-ish? Three and a half? Four, solid four. And then last battle broke base, so I'm gonna have to give that one a five. So those are the ratings, I guess. I, I love how I'm just using the movie one as a, I'm just gonna put you here. Oh dear lord. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you call us to regret. I have the actual book box that it came in. The little stuff. They've all seen better days. I apologize. So I'm just gonna kind of have them laid out down here so I can easily grab them. I'm gonna have to go that way there, bud. <coughs> it does make my life slightly more complicated. Now I'm going off the book because well, I have no more room on the table. I have a cat cage on one side and Tiffany with the cat on the other. It's you can put the cat cage on the ground. It's holding Barry. You got my Barry on the table! You have a table! <laughs> Look, <laughs> I feel like I'm rambling too much. Oh dear lord, it's only it's already been six minutes and I haven't actually done any of the 18 questions it's yet. Fine. Would you like me to ask them to you? Sure. Okay. <clears throat> They're very basic questions. Which was your fastest read? Fastest read was Prince Caspian. He took me three days max. Oh. Baby, I know he's awake. What's going on? Uh, what month is it? It, it? It's still a time ending in time. <laughs> time ending in time? Um, what is it? A day ending in Y, but my brain... <laughs> I, I think I've lost the brain cell today. I mean, did you take the brain cell? But no, Prince Caspian took me like three days. What was your longest read? Horse and his boy, I struggled. This was a struggle bus book pronouncing the names, and that is just because I am bad at that kind of thing. I made up quite a few nicknames, especially for the main girl's best friend that we saw for like maybe a chapter. Her name is Larissa now, by the way. If anyone's curious what I decided I'm gonna oh, name you have this a stink bug on you. Where? I'm not t touching it. <laughs> We're good. I'm gonna have to pause it though so I can get rid of the bug. <laughs> You're no longer terrified. Yeah. Ralph has been dealt with. He's outside now. And Ivy's just vibing. What was your least favorite book? <sighs> That's a tie, in a way, because I really hated The Horse of His Boy, just because how much I struggled. So, <clears throat> big rip. But I hated the fact that last battle was indeed the last. She wanted an eighth book, but I told her that, you know, him dying probably put a damper on that. You didn't look at the last question, did you? <laughs> Good, keep going. Favorite book? Favorite I'm going with Fine Witch and Wardrobe. So I am a basic girl. I can't help it. I know. Uh, I genuinely cried at least three times reading this. Another one that I did cry at, though, was Magician's Nephew. Which Tiffany knows nothing about. Honestly, if you've made it this far, you don't care about spoilers. I mean, you kept me informed about the crazy aunt living in the attic. She wasn't living in the attic. They just thought about maybe she was living in the attic. Uh, no, but the fact that he sang Narnia into existence. That that was a good moment. She was confused about lore. <laughs> it's fine. Least favorite character overall? Tash, for obvious reasons. Favorite character overall? Honestly, it's a tie. Because clearly Lucy's superior, if I had to choose a human, but if I had to choose a Narnian that's not clearly Aslan, I'd go with Rupachi. I really- Obviously. Like right answer. <laughs> oh. I like him anyway. He's so cute. 
I'm gonna get so tagged for that, probably, if he was real. Least favorite scene in each book. Okay. I didn't think about that whenever I wrote that down. Okay, so least favorite scene. I might just do it. Go in order. In order, so I have to go with Magician's Nephew first? Alright. Least favorite is just anytime the uncle is there. He's kind of the worst. But, I don't know. I can't really think of a negative, negative thing that I hated. I, I know quite a few funny moments of that book, but no, literally just the uncle. He's the <laughs> absolute worst in that what? Sorry, I read ahead. Oh no. <laughs> to question 12 in particular. <laughs> so yeah, no. Anytime the uncle is on scene, I hate <clears throat> it. So the uncle gave me the creep. Least favorite scene, obviously, for Lion Witch in the Wardrobe. Is when he dies. Big sad. Horse and his boy's least favorite scene. Probably the whole time they were in the desert. <laughs> to be fair. That's just me. Prince Caspian. I don't... I don't really think there was a least favorite scene in this either. <laughs> I can't think of much negative for this. Did, did I have a least favorite scene in you? <clears throat> I have no idea. I don't know. You, they get a pass because I can't think of one. Least First favorite in Don Shredder. Right mm. Probably the slaver scene. I was never a big fan of that Me even neither. in the movies. That, that one came to me really quickly. Also, uh, this one's got a lot on the back. I feel it's now textured. <laughs> That's sanitizer. Figured Pip got a hold of it. No. Silver Chair's least favorite scene. Probably the one in the Giants' castle. Just them being with the Giants in general. Outside of that, there really wasn't much for a least favorite scene. And least favorite scene in Last Battles, literally like the opening one <laughs> that sets off the whole chain of events. That's all you're getting. Okay. Uh. What number are we on now? Eight. Okay. Do that again, but the opposite. Favorite scene. Oh, in every favorite book. scene. Yeah, I know. A lot of it's backwards. You gotta do your favorite and least favorite. Okay. When he sings <coughs> Narnia into existence, you know, the whole world, that, that made me cry. Oh no, he's alive again, yay, let's go to battle. <laughs> Horse and his boy, anytime the Pevensies were there. <laughs> That's about it. The Caspian. Hmm. Why am I struggling the most with Caspian? Makes sense. Probably, right. honestly, whenever they had the little, like, archery show off, who was better at archery, and the sword fight, they did, they cut the archery part, but, you know, they cut the sword fight. Don Treader, it's gotta be the ending, and just in general, that whole speech, I loved it. Silver Chair's favorite part. <clears throat> did I have a favorite part in you? <laughs> I don't know if I did. Probably I'm gonna go with when they first get there and Eustace falls off the cliff. <laughs> Cause that was funny. And then the last battle. Clearly the ending if you haven't seen the ending. But he brings the stars down. That That's a good moment. I really like that. What would you change about each of them? <sighs> she sounds like she's ready for this question. <laughs> okay, at least with certain ones. What I would change about Magician's Nephew. Honestly, I kind of wanted to see more of the White Witch in London. <laughs> as controversial as that might be when she's wrecking habit, I would like to see more of it, please. I want to see more of the chaos. Lion Witch and Wardrobe, just Edmund, be a little bit smarter, please. 
Please use your brain cell. It's too much to ask of Edmund. Horse at this point, more Pevensies, please. Always. Caspian. Why do I always struggle with you? Because it's Caspian. <laughs> do you need another reason? Honestly, if I could just give him a little bit more advice, just don't trust your family. <laughs> don't trust them, even a tiny bit. Don Treader. Honestly, I don't think there would be much that I would have changed with Don Treader either. I really liked it. Maybe, you know, try not to fight as much when you're on the island where there's gold water. Don't do that. Don't be an idiot. Once again, Edmund being an idiot. Use your brain cell. You have it. Try and use it. Silver chair. You should have just stabbed her when you saw her the first time. You could have just fixed so much of your own hassle. The witch. They could have just stabbed her, saved the dude. It, it would have been great. Do a stabby stab. And I guess they wouldn't have been able to find the chair and destroy it, but you know, just do a light stab. It's fine. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with the stupid, stupid ape quickly. I'm just having more and more questions about <laughs> that last one. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. What was your overall favorite line? What number was that one? Because that, that can't be Ten. the one that you... Uh, okay. I don't know. Mine was 12. <laughs> made me laugh about you. Oh, no. <laughs> overall favorite line. I know what mine is. I didn't have to read the book. What's your favorite line? The one in Don Treader. Oh, but you need to know me. Uh -huh. My different name. Uh, that's probably... A cop out, but that's probably what I would want. Even too. if I read the books, it'll still be my favorite line. Mm -hmm. I already know it. I do got to go with that too. I think it's the best line ever. It is one of the really good ones. Yeah. Which book would you want to be in? Which one do I want to personally be in? I mean, they all kind of involve a lot of war. Uh, yeah, there's quite a lot of war. I mean, if I want to risk, you know, my best chance of survival. <laughs> would you like to risk life and limb? I mean, if I'm talking the one where I'm going to survive the most, probably it would have been Magician's Nephew. But for the f fact that I would want to be there during the golden time of the Pevensies, unfortunately, that means that I'd be stuck in Horse and His Boy. Because they're still kicking about at that point. They're still in Narnia. Okay, this is the one that made me laugh because I don't know. Like, you just <laughs> put it in there to put it. Did you understand the name? No. Or make up some when you didn't I, I, understand? I, yeah, this? I definitely made up names because I'm bad at reading. I forgot that was one of the questions. <laughs> what would you want to be written about if there was an eighth book? Come on, man. Susan being a friend of Narnia again, that's literally all I care about. <laughs> That would be good. Like, I know Narnia no longer is a thing. The actual place where they went, it, it's been destroyed. But you can focus on Susan's redemption arc now that she's lost everyone. She needs to be able to figure out what to do. That could have been a really good book, even if they're not technically there. You could have used him by his other name, which was referenced to Don Treader. It's a good thing we can make that happen. <laughs> uh, how has Narnia changed your life? I think I read all seven books within like a month, so what do you think? We were talking movies, I watched it at least ten times just within like <laughs> two months. Part, yeah, honestly, you watched probably all of them very close back to back. Oh yeah, because <laughs> Narnia is that thing where you have to watch all three together, mm -hmm. like, you, you know? Yeah, I watched it like once a week in February. Yeah. Okay, my battery is starting to die, so that's BRB. a good time. Hi, Bibby. Hi. She's over our crap. Okay. Do you prefer the books or the movies? I do really love the movies. I wish they would have stayed a little bit closer to canon, especially in Dawn Treader, but I'm not too, too picky about that, so I'm going to stick with the movies. Probably, Disowned by every yeah. single book reader. I mean, don't get me wrong. I do love these books. Will I reread them? Who knows? I don't remember if that was a question further on. I might have just jumped the gun. Yes. Oh. 
do you think the casting was spot on for the main characters? Genuinely, I know people are going to be upset because of age-wise, because they are a lot younger, especially in book form, but I, I do, I really do. Okay. I've been disowned by the book community twice now. Would you reread the books? Maybe. I don't necessarily think I would go through them as fast as I did the first time. Probably just reread your favorites. Yeah. I don't re see you rereading this atrocity. <laughs> During the break, while I had to change my batteries, she's like, let me see some of these names. I see Edmund's here. <laughs> I have a very strong disdain for Edmund. I can't help it. But look, he's such a good guy. Yeah, name. I know, I know. He had a redemption arc, blah, 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 blah. But he still sold out his family for candy. He was under an enchantment. I'm pretty sure he would have sold them out for candy anyway. He's still under an enchantment. That's just an explanation. That she he wasn't enchanted to take that first bite. He was hungry. Well, his mother should have taught him that you don't take Turkish delight from strangers on a magical ice sleigh. She's the queen. His mother should have taught him that you don't take Turkish delight from magical queens on ice sleighs in magical lands and wardrobes. Okay? Better? Sure. Have I covered all my bases? I love how Ivy has just slept through this whole thing. <laughs> Ivy, good on you, girl. I don't know how you have. Anyway, last question. Oh. Any final thoughts? So, so many thoughts. There needed to be a book eight. Uh, I am interested to see how the Netflix casting comes along. I believe they were in casting mode right now. I don't know. Or at least they are, I believe, starting to start looking for who's going to play who. I at least time want the filming. original cast to make it. Cameo. I could easily see them making some sort of cameo outside of Skander. Obviously, politician now might be a little complicated. Uh, I mean, he was a king, but yes. <laughs> yeah, he went from being yeah. a king to a politician. politician. So, you know, it's on brand, I guess. That's what you want, girl. Oh. Well, okay. that's nice. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, now I basically need to save this tag because Tiffany is potentially going to read them. Yeah. And I genuinely don't think that I, I, I don't know, part of me wants to do an actual review by the books, but that's going to be a little complicated. There's not many pages, honestly. I could never. I ramble too much. <laughs> And for the most part, they all have like 171, 172 pages. I believe the one that had the most pages was either Silver Chair or Dawn Treader. I think it might have been Dawn Treader. Was it Dawn Treader? I know Caspian had. Oh no, Dawn Treader was under my one. Okay. Not me just going through because I genuinely can't remember. So, I think the ties are Caspian and Silver Chair for the longest books. Caspian had 190. Oh no, so Silver Chair. Silver Chair, this book about his son, literally beat him by one page. Okay, it's fairly uh, satisfying that they're all about the same length. Yeah, they're all roughly the same. This one's 175. I believe this one's it's also. To be me. This is 172. Like He's 190. Wow. Well, what? <laughs> Just the jump between 170 and this one's 189. What happened to you? Why didn't you get an extra page? <laughs> Honestly, I think what drove me mad about, I want to say it was Dawn Treader, is that some of the pages, for whenever they start a chapter, like, in these ones, it has just, you know, a dead space, right? And then you flip the page, and it's like, oh, yeah, here you go. Not that one. That one had the start of the next chapter on the same page as the one that ended, which I thought was really weird. And I believe that was the only one that did that, which I, I don't understand. 
Maybe because he wanted Why to keep it. Why you gotta be special? I like the color scheme of this one I the know, most. I know, it's so pretty. But yeah, no, Tony's gonna read them now. And then maybe she'll get to do a review. <laughs> yeah, it'll take me a solid six months, probably. <laughs> You're gonna have to take notes as you go through. Probably, because I don't remember things. I'll just be there with my <laughs> sticky notes annotating. Put it in your phone. That's not as fun. All right. Good luck. <laughs>